Welcome back fellow aircraft builders and uh, aviation enthusiasts. In this video I want to talk about uh, staying organized in your build process. So there won't be any tooling or parts in this video but I want to show you how I stay organized. Uh, during your build you need to keep a builder log for the FAA and uh, they don't really care how much time you spend uh, building your aircraft although most builders do log their hours but they do require that you log when, what parts you're building and when and what, what phases of the aircraft you're, you're in. So if you're doing assembly or you're hanging the engine or whatever, you have to log all of that time spent. So I took a look at when I first started this project way back in 2011, I, I first took a look at what the available software was. Um, there are online kit building logs and, and their software based kit building logs and things like that that you can buy or pay a monthly subscription fee for and use to uh, organize your, your build and publish your photos online and things like that. So I didn't really like any of the ones that I saw and I decided to create my own and I simply used a uh, blog, blogger.com which is a Google product. Um, it's If you have a Gmail account you have access to a phenomenal amount of resources in your Google uh, arsenal and <clears throat> so the two things that I used for my builder log are Google Sheets which is a Google's version of Microsoft Excel or an online spreadsheet program it automatically saves to your Google Drive account and you just ha simply have to have an internet connection to use it so I created a spreadsheet based builder log in Google Sheets and then I created a blogger account which is my online blog to uh, showcase my photographs and the progress on my build. So I'm going to show you some details and I apologize I'm using my not so great camera but it's got a zoom function so I can actually um, zoom in on some of this stuff. So you can see um, the title of my Google Sheets page is Zenith Stoll CH750 Build Log and I've got just some title information here. I've got my Serial number, um, details about my engine conversion, and um, my, the way that I'm building it, which is scratch build with some factory built and factory welded parts, although I just bought a welder, so I'm probably going to learn how to weld and do it myself. <clears throat> there are, in this spreadsheet, there are 572 total fabricated parts that have to be built for the airplane. Now, that doesn't include things like the Nile, Nile oil bearings and a few other odds and ends. It's, it's mo like the wingtips and plastic pieces and things like that but it's it's all of the stuff that I can fabricate as a builder um, <clears throat> and uh, doesn't include things like nuts and bolts so there are right around 572 um, parts that you can fabricate for this airplane as a builder and then there's about a hundred or so other parts that you really can't that include things like I said before the wing tips or you know other odds and ends so I broke the uh, the build down into, um, you know, I started down here. This is the actual comprehensive overview. So I've got a date. This is the day that I put in some time. And then I broke the further down into categories as to, you know, what was I working on? So was I working on tooling? Was I, was I actually uh, forming parts? Was I working on assembly, plumbing, electrical, panel, engine, finishing, and all that stuff? So obviously because I'm still in the beginning phases, uh, I created this back in 2011 and sure enough on my Google account it's still there in 2015 when I returned to the project. I only had <clears throat> maybe 20 hours into the project before I took a three and a half year break. But the benefit of using my Google account means that I didn't you know, have to save this to a new computer. I didn't have to back it up to a hard drive and then transfer it to a new computer. It's always just there as long as I can get online and it's quite secure. <clears throat> now you can see here that I've locked the panes, these these panes right here, these title bars, I've locked that so that I can actually scroll down with my mouse and now we get into all of the build log itself, how much I've, all the time that I've spent. So we have, uh, I just made a note that I had a three and a half year break in here and then I started the project back up in July of 2004, or in July of 2015. So when you put the mouse pointer over top of each cell, it will, a note will pop up and the note is what I, what I did that day for that two hours. So if I worked on tooling for two hours, I, you know, inserted a note into that cell 
organized tools laid out main wing rib main nose main wing nose rib and center rib blanks for forming blocks so each one of these has a little hash mark you can see this little triangle mark it has a note in there and the way that you do that is you just simply right click on a cell and hit insert note I don't use the comment function because it overlays on top of your page but the note is just in the background and then if you print the overview it gives you a, a key at the end of the of the uh, printout that tells you what note goes where so it'll say it'll tell you what that note is for for that cell at the in the end so this is just for me to stay organized uh, and uh, you know log all of my hours that I spent the most recent of which was last night on February 15th I did four and a half hours and what I did was fabricated yeah, I got a little correction there fabricated the side skins uh, strut angles and the corner angles and then I spent two hours fitting and match drilling the pilot cabin side assembly now if you notice down at the bottom there are more tabs so the first tab is the overview tab right here okay and that's this page that we're on that's the page we're currently on if you go to parts checklist 016 that's the parts in sixteen thousandths that I that I did so if you look up at the top I still have the same kind of title and then I have parts checklist by material thickness it's sixteen thousandths tells the aluminum alloy tells me how many sheets of that I need to build the whole airplane that's from uh, another resource that I used and then I simply listed the parts by drawing number part number description quantity and then the date completed and at the bottom of this page if you scroll down you see I've got some blanks in here because I haven't made all these parts you scroll down to the bottom of the page I can enter the sum quantity so there's a there's a um, expression in there in this box that gives me at tells uh, tells me the sum of all the parts and then I have parts completed to date what that does is that looks up the right column next to that quantity and sees if there's a value in there which is either a date uh, or the word purchase and that tells me how many parts are completed to date and then the total of purchase parts I just entered based on the thing so the nice thing about this as well is that when you print one of these tabs or one of these pages what you end up with is a handy checklist right here you end up with a handy very handy checklist that you can use while you're working on your plane so when I'm working outside in my shop I can manually enter the date and I can put a hash mark with you know the amount of time I spent on it or whatever I want to do there and then transfer this to the spreadsheet and the reason I do that it might seem like a lot of work to do that and kind of redundant the reason I do this is because this can become destroyed, dirty, lost, whatever. I've already lost one of them, um, fortunately, because I update the online version very often. It comes up rather quickly, and I can uh, <clears throat> excuse me. It comes up very quick, or I off, I update it very often, and uh, so I can reprint it and just re-update it from memory on any time that I lose it because I only have maybe a day or two worth of entries on it but it keeps a running total of the parts count and then those are these running parts counts down here are actually on the very first page there's an expression on the first page that totals those up from each individual page um, so if you have a basic working knowledge of the spreadsheet programs you can you can enter all those expressions and equations in there to get your totals uh, to read the way that you want so the only difficulty here about uh, doing this is that you just literally have to go through and enter every single part on, on the page. And so I've got parts checklist for each thickness of material all the way down the line. Um, and some of them I actually have some overall measurements and that was because I was trying to calculate how much material I needed. I was going to split a half a sheet of material with a friend. and. Uh, so there's more you can do with this spreadsheet than just simply keep a checklist but for the most part I just use it to take out to the shop I print print the page take it out to the shop and then check things off as I complete them 
on this last page I have miscellaneous parts and these are these are all kinds of just oddball parts that really don't have their own classification or really don't warrant a page so you know I've got galvanized steel parts I've got three quarter by three quarter inch uh, angle parts um, they're all just broken up and that's actually a four page checklist so it takes some time to put all this together but once you do that you've got a very organized build and then in combination with my online blog and my and uh, all the photos I take this is my builder log and it's very comprehensive and very useful for the FAA inspector to see all the work that I've done. Thanks for watching. Good luck with your projects. Let me know if you have any questions.